Hello, and welcome to Brand Clarity Vlog by Visions to Images, where we focus on strategy and business development for entrepreneurs at all different levels through branding and digital marketing techniques. Susie Libertor is the founder and art director of Visions to Images Creative Services, LLC. For the last decade, she has personally been instrumental in bridging gaps between the global digital market and neighborhood local locations for some of the biggest brands around. Growth is possible for even a single location with the right professional branding techniques and Susie's signature strategies of visions to images. Stand out from your competitors and bring your visions to life while watching your sales skyrocket. Your host for this blog is Susie Liberator, owner of Visions to Images. Hello everybody, I have Kelly Conrad today on the podcast with Visions to Images, and she's a singer-song voice coach. I'm super excited because we met in Orlando on our mastermind retreat back in January, and she's just a fun, energetic person. And I told her she dances a lot, which I kind of like. And she's like, do I really dance a lot? And I'm like, yeah, you totally dance a lot. <laughs> so um, it's fun to see her dancing and help bring the spirits up. So hello, Kelly. Hi, what's happening? I'm so happy to get to do this with you. Yeah, thanks for coming on. I've never had a singer and a voice coach, so it's kind of different, and I'm excited. So fun. I love podcasts. Let's be honest. It's what's, it's what's keeping us alive right now in this time. For sure, yes. So tell me how you've gotten started in this amazing field. Oh, man, such a good question. So, yeah, I remember even thinking as I was a super little kid, I, like, loved watching Mariah Carey videos and MTV mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I was like, I just want to be a singer. How do you even do that? People are like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it just kind of kind of like anything else. You have a bunch of determination, and you just keep trying to find different ways to make it work. Like, I kind of started as, a, like, a teenager playing a bunch in churches and coffee shops, and then I got older and did the, like, was a music major in college, and then started playing all over the place and touring and setting up my own tours across the country, and, and then just playing with some good Christian artists and just um, getting a bunch of music videos out and different things like that. And slowly as before you know it, you're like, all right, I'm a touring singer. Who knew? <laughs> you got your stuff on Spotify and iTunes and all that goodness. I love um, it. Yeah. So it's super fun. And then I was just starting to coach people because um, that was something I was already doing. And it was something I could do if I wasn't on tour and helping people with that, especially at churches, a lot of worship leaders had needed help. So um, before you knew it, I was doing lessons and showing people how to sing and all that. So kind of craziness, but a lot of fun. Yeah, I, so what's funny about all that is I grew up loving Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah. She was like my idol, and I would be like in the bedroom, like singing, and I'm like, I'm going to be her, I'm going to meet her. So <laughs> it's so funny that we both love her, and now, yeah. Now she's a little bit crazier than she used to be, but back in the old days, man, she was she the was best. Good. Yeah, she was the wow. best. I love it. I still will rock out to some good old Mariah Carey, don't get that wrong. I mean, who doesn't? It's so good. Her more recent stuff is a little, a little hit or miss. But the beginning, Mariah Carey, man, she was so awesome. Yeah. So tell me what you're most excited about right now. What's going on in your business? Oh, that's such a good question. So I have a new album coming out. This Ooh, month. So that's excited. exciting. I know. It's really exciting. It's a little crazy to try and figure out how to do music videos in um, Corona season. Ooh. But um, it's kind of fun. We're actually doing something where everybody is sending in videos where they're at, and they can be a part of the music video, which is so fun. I'm really excited about that, actually. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing that, and I've been talking to a lot of clients voice-wise, like actually training online, which has been kind of fun to try and revamp it but it's also really fun because they get to be in my house where normally I can be in their house or things but you kind of get to know each other in a different way when everybody's at their own house which I love mm -hmm. that's really fun so yeah just telling that and then telling the stories of the new songs coming out and the album I'm super excited about so yeah that's that's interesting so who do you kind of tell me more about your coaching what do you do for that sure so basically it's anybody who's like Normally, we do it more like teenagers and on up. So any, it can be people who are just singing like out in coffee shops or places like that. It can be worship leaders who are, have teams of people. It can be anybody, really. It's even been moms who just needed something to do. <laughs> They're like, I really want, I've always wanted to sing. I really want to do that. So we sit down, we just talk through songs that they know or that they love and talk through like, okay, here, sing this little part for me. That's fix-ups, that's fine-tune some things like, 
okay, your breathing is off. And it's super simple things sometimes like that, that you don't yeah. realize Ooh, you fix your breathing. Yeah. A lot of times you fix your breathing and a lot of your singing, um, it can be a lot easier than people think. And then you can sing a lot fuller and higher. And that's a lot of times where people are struggling. They don't even realize like, I just feel like I'm off key sometimes, or I can't really be loud. And normally it roots back to like a few simple things. Well, you know, kind of like design. People are always like, I don't know how to make my design. And you're like, well, what are you about? What colors do you like? There you go. You know what I mean? Like, well, there's well, it's not that easy, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea. Like, normally right. it needs to come down to what's your actual messaging. Like, right. people aren't even thinking that. It's kind of the same thing like that where there's a few root issues and a few things that goes back to you where you're like, okay, well, that's cool. I can totally make that happen. Let's fix this up, you know? You want to sing loud and proud and be a diva? Let's do it. <laughs> So yeah, we can make that happen, which is always kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, so also I was going to tell you, the other thing that I was telling you that I was excited about is <laughs> the album coming out. Um, it's kind of fun because it's the first album that I made after I got married. So it's a lot of personal stories and a lot of things dealing with uh, marriage and just dealing with uh, how things kind of change a little bit. A lot of things that God is just teaching me in this season about either being humble or about um, just some different stories like that. And there's one song too that I wrote for my wedding that I actually put on this album that I was super excited about. Like when I walked down the aisle, I wanted to write my own song to walk down the aisle too. So that song is actually coming out in this album with a bunch of strings, parts and cellos and choir and stuff. It was so fun. I'm pumped about that. But yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me if you could give advice to anybody who's kind of in um, the music industry or is looking to be an entrepreneur, what kind of advice would you give to them? Oh man, that's such a good question. I think, I think at the beginning, well, it takes a lot of to, no, not giving up. There's going to be so many weird roadblocks, especially more and more as it gets into social media, you're learning such a, so many different things and apps and Instagram and posts about different things and how to post and how to even record your music and all those different things pieces of it and there's so many pieces to just continue on and not give up and know that you're going to make mistakes along the way there's going to be times that you look crazy because you're not sure how to do something or you make a post that you're like oh later on you look back on it like what <laughs> or there's a funny recording of you singing or something there it sounds really crazy years later you look back on but it's all part of the growth process and I think just putting yourself out there and continuing to be vulnerable is such a sweet um it's hard to do, but it just makes it so good. And that's where you get to connect with people. And that's where other people get to say, yeah, me too. You know, you share a super personal song or you share a super personal thing on Instagram and people get to say, yeah, I'm totally there too. And you have this sweet connection with people. And that's really what it's all about. Um, whether you're having tons of followers or you're not having tons of followers, like you're just encouraging people with who you are and with your music. And I just love that. And I think if I, if I could go back to my younger self, I'd be like, Hey, stop being afraid. Just like put yourself out there and do it already as I continue to say to myself every day. But um, yeah, that's what I would say to younger people. I, I feel like it goes across the fields, whether you're in music or you're in, no matter what it is, there's so right. many ways that we could just be scared or like, oh, what do people think about this? But just, just doing it and being who you are and just enjoying that process and knowing that there's going to be mistakes along the way. Yeah, I mean, obviously every day there are mistakes some way, shape or form somehow. I mean, mistakes are a way of growth. So obviously it's not, you can't look at it as a mistake. It's a way, it's a new opportunity to kind of grow in whatever you're doing, personal, business, life, parenting, whatever. Like we all make mistakes, but we have to be able to see them and go forward with them essentially. Totally. I think that's so true. Susie, you're totally right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right though, like we have to, we're all, we're going to make mistakes and then we're going to look back on it and go, why did I do that? Like I think about it sometimes all the time and I'm like, why did I do that? Oh, maybe because I got to hear. So, I mean, there's reasons for why it happens and maybe we didn't know and whatever. I mean, mistakes are going to happen. Right. And learning from the mistakes. I know people say that all the time, but it's so true that it's like we get so scared to do something because what if we do it wrong? But normally right. that's where I learn the best is when I've done something wrong. Like, okay, let me fix that. Sure. Okay. Now I got this, you know, if right. you don't stop at that spot and you can keep it going, that's normally when your best stuff comes, which is cool. Yeah. Awesome. So thanks so, for coming on. I want to hear all about your album. Send me the links that you have um, so everybody can view your amazing voice and amazing stuff. I know you have so much great stuff coming, so I'm excited and can't wait. Thank